Hey guys, uh, it's me, Big B again. Um, just a, a new video now on something very interesting with uh, this, the HTC Desire. Um, I got this on O2, um, which obviously means when the 2.2 update, Frojo came out, we weren't able to get it. Um, only people with unlocked, uh, unbranded HTCs could have it. Um, but I've actually managed to get it on the O2 um, HTC Desire. Um, normally you just wouldn't be able to do this because they've said it's going to be weeks and weeks possibly two three four weeks before or two get it and i can guarantee you guys i've got it on here i've just done it but it wasn't straightforward and uh, what i have to do was obviously uh rooted the phone first and um, with unprovoked um rooting technique and was trying to flash custom roms which i couldn't do it just wouldn't do it with the or two Brandon, even though there was no software Brandon within the phone, there was the O2 boot up screen and things like that. Um, and obviously, O2 had done something and it just wouldn't allow any ROMs at all. Even um, I even got the generic HTC ROM and it wouldn't even allow that on. Um, Try to do a thing, just wouldn't allow it, kept coming up with other records. So, what I managed to do, I managed to get a certain um, update, the Rue Bravo HTC. WWE um, version 1 2 1 um, which was a little bit ahead of what the version of the software was on here and that allowed it to go on because I had the new bootloader as well bootloader 08 and that went on and it updated and as soon I mean literally as soon as I got it on I connected the Wi-Fi back up click check for updates Frojo 2.2 straight there and now it's on I'll uh, just show you you can see there I don't know whether you can see but it's on it says O2 there I'm on O2 still and it, it's it's a really bad picture I know um, but it's a genuine was a genuine O2 branded phone when you clicked it it came up with the O2 blue screen you got the little bubbles going up and then HTC booted well with this one now when I put it's updated with this first um, update and then Frojo has gone on however you want to pronounce it I don't know what I'm pronouncing that right but the 2.2 updates gone on and um, that's all gone it's basically stock even though it's still on O2 it's now the stock ROM you don't get any of that nonsense with the blue screen with O2 on it and rubbish like that it's now stock ROM Frojo 2.2 up to three weeks before it officially comes out on O2 because if you read the forums you're not getting it yet and um, a lot of like I say unbranded HTC's already got it today and I was a bit annoyed at that so I've been on all day trying this and I have tried everything up until this point wouldn't work this works straight away um, and I'm chuffed to bits move to SD card works fine unfortunately a lot of the applications have to be specially written to take that into account to move to SD card a bit like um, iPhone 4 update to the games to use the multitasking but there is a way around it there was a, a command you can type in if you've got the Android SDK and you can uh, plug your phone in put it into debug mode and you can run a command which forces all apps to move to SD card and I've tested it and it works um, I put a couple of games on, they would not move to SD card for nothing. Did this, put it back on, move straight to SD card, no problem. So you can force everything, even stuff that hasn't been specifically written to do it, works fine. Um, 720p video recording, another biggie, works fine. There's loads of other features in there. There's um, voice control, um, there's, th there's all sorts. There's a new navigation. I'm just looking now. You've got the Wi-Fi hotspot. You've got um, voice search. You've just got all sorts, and it um, it's really smooth, guys. It's like nicely smooth. It just like glides really nice, really smooth. Um, live wallpapers again, fantastic. Everything everything just works lovely. Um, so I'll put a, a link. Well, I'm not a link as such because I can't put a link to it at the minute. But I'll I'll put in the in the description the exact name of the update you want to search for, 
um, especially if you're this minimum but this is only if you're on auto obviously I cannot guarantee it on orange or anything like that because I've heard on orange things can go drastically wrong um, and it locks your phone but this hasn't locked it's still running auto my auto sim card still running fine send and receive calls fantastic if you're on orange or t-mobile or anything like that I can't guarantee this is going to work so I would go and do your own research and thing if you're on O2 it's worked fine for me again I'm not saying it'll work fine for everybody but it seems to have worked fine for me you may have to create a gold card what's called a gold card um, which I did when I was trying to do the ROMs so this update this initial first update I did that the first one that has worked it may work without a gold card because it is an official update the only thing is with your phone being locked and network branded a little bit to O2 it may stop it working but if it does I'll give you the name again I can't put a link but I'll give you the name of a, a gold card creator tool which I used which is dead easy just follow the instructions worked brilliant created the card once you do that it should work and um, and it is well worth it guys I mean I was sitting and I was really annoyed that the unbranded phones were getting it today and they were saying how good it is and I said, that's not good enough and when I saw the comments from O2 saying it could be weeks and weeks and you know what sometimes that means it could be weeks and months I thought no 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 I want it now and I've got it yeah it took a lot of sweat today and a lot of Google searching and a lot of experimenting and sweating and worrying in case I bricked it but I haven't so if you've got any comments or any questions you can pop them in the comments and I'll, I'll, I'll try and answer them best I can but it does work and I'm not trying to bullshit it like I say it, it is on O2 it was O2 branded and now it seems to be completely unbranded and um, doesn't come up with anything O2 at all except when it boots up and it says I'm on the O2 network but I have got an O2 sim in was genuinely O2 and um, so if you want give it a go give it a try it's worth it guys um, and we can stick two fingers up at O2 for going to be taking too long and some of the others why we have to wait weeks and weeks and weeks and weeks for this update I don't know um, obviously so they could put their branded crap in it and what have you but I've done it I'm happy throw jaws on and uh, it's nice guys it's nice so any comments just leave them down there and I'll get back to you as soon as I can cheers